Hey, what is up guys? I'm KBHD here, and I think I found my new favorite clock. That is not a sentence I thought I would say in 2016. Then again, in the last month, we've gotten a new Mario game and a new Star Wars movie, so what year is it, really? But basically, this little matte black box you see behind me is called the Lametric Time. It's a customizable, connected clock that also happens to be a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, I shared it on Snapchat, and enough people were curious about it that I figured it was worth sharing in a quick video. So there's definitely others like this, but this just happens to be the one that I found. But in my opinion, it turns out to be one of, if not the best looking. Maybe not the best sounding, maybe not the best build, but it's pretty good looking. Uh, it's the pixel art that I'm a fan of, and then just the matte black shape in the box just feels like it could fit in anywhere. It could be a dope bedside clock, or it could just sit in a studio or an office like this. But the customization is definitely the best part, so there's an app for it, uh, for iOS or for Android, and it lets you customize exactly what shows up on the clock, and it's super responsive as you can tell. So if you want the time, you can put a clock. If you want the weather, you got that, or a stopwatch, or stocks, or pretty much anything you can think of. And then each face has a mini app, and each mini app has its own little parameters. So for the weather mini app, for example, you get to choose exactly which properties of the weather for it to show. So if you can just have the temperature and the wind, that's cool. But if you want the temperature, the wind, pressure, precipitation, and everything, you can have all of that. It's your call. So you can have the clock just stay on that one face you like forever if you want, or you can have them rotating through the faces automatically, so it can go weather, then stocks, then whatever you want. Or you can just use the button on the top to move through the different faces one by one. So with that in mind, you can imagine all the different wide variety of things you might want to have it display and where you might want it to display those things. So in an office, you might have it displaying a certain stock all the time, or maybe in a living room, you might have one just for light control. It also has if this, then that compatibility, so you can get really creative with it if you want. And I think my favorite one is just the live YouTube subscriber count. And it really is live. YouTube only updates once in a while, maybe twice an hour on the site itself. But with this, you can literally watch the subscribers of a channel coming in almost live, like every couple minutes, which is awesome and strangely super addicting and a little motivating. I think I'm just gonna leave this one on my desk like full time in the studio. So the huge store of all these free mini apps is encouraging all these faces. You can have anything from like custom messages, which I've shown, to your latest Twitter mentions, if you wanna sign into Twitter, to a count of how many people are in space at a certain time. So I think I'm gonna get another one of these for home and maybe more, I don't even know, but I'll leave a link right below the like button if you wanna check it out and maybe share this video for someone who's interested in that pixel art. The 200 bucks is definitely kinda of steep. I wasn't sure I'd be getting my money's worth when I bought it, but I think the huge amount of apps and the things that it does kinda of make it worth it over time. But I'll also leave a link below to a similar one called Aura Box. Uh, shout out to Crystal Key for finding it. I'll leave her video link below. It's kinda of the same thing. It's like pixel art and a clock that's controlled by an app, so you can check that out too. It also happens to be super discounted right now for the holidays, so both links are on point. So either way, that's been it. Thank you for watching, and in the comments section, definitely let me know if you guys like little quick videos like this, little one-hitters on gadgets or devices I find in between the bigger ones. Either way, that's been it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.